Hi everyone, my name is Eric Vertomero and I work at the research IT department at the Jackson Laboratory, which is a nonprofit research institute based in Bar Harbor, Maine. And today I'm going to talk to you about Conda environments. So one of the biggest uh, stumbling blocks for people starting up on Python is managing their packages and managing which packages are where and different versions of the same package and different versions of Python. So Conda environments are a very good way of organizing things and making sure that you have the exact versions you need on the right places. So a very quick overview of what an environment is, it's essentially a set of packages that you can use in one or in multiple projects. So as you can see here on this prompt, uh, the default environment with uh, Anaconda or Miniconda is the base environment. Uh, this contains uh, the default packages that come with Anaconda or Miniconda. So I'm going to assume you have Conda installed either in Anaconda form or Miniconda form, and you have a prompt up. So on Windows, you can either use the Anaconda prompt that you can just search for on your on your start menu, or you can use Windows subsystem for Linux, which is what I'm using here. On your Mac, you will get your, your Conda prompt just using the terminal if you have Conda installed. Let's start up by uh, talking about the ways you can create a Conda environment. There is essentially two ways. One is uh, using an environment file, which is a YAML file. I'm going to show that in a minute. And the other one is actually specifying which packages you want in that environment. So first things first, I'm just going to make sure that I actually have Conda installed. So what I normally do is Conda minus minus version. And if that gives you a result, then Conda is installed. So uh, I'm going to show you what the YAML file looks, looks like. So here I have an example environment.yaml file. So it's a text file that in this case, it has the name of the environment I'm going to be using, uh, from which channels it's actually going to be pulling packages from, and which dependencies that environment has. So in this case, I'm using Python 3.6 and I'm using pip. And then from pip, I'm getting a package named PyJokes. So if I quit out of that and do conda and create, minus minus file environment.yaml that's going to create a new environment with specifications that were in that text file. So this takes um, a few seconds to a minute or two, depending on how much stuff you have in your YAML file. If you have a very big YAML file with a lot of dependencies, then of course it takes longer. Okay, so now we have a new environment. As you can see, it uh, installed the package by jokes, and it gives us some information here about what to do to activate this environment and deactivate it. So to make sure we actually have a new environment there, what I'm going to do is conda env list. So that's gonna list the environments I have here. So you see that I have a few environments that were already there and we have the play env that I just created. And the name here is given by the name that was on the text file. So now I'm going to activate that environment using the uh, instructions that were given there. And you see that the, the beginning of the line here change, changes from base to play env. And now if I do Python, you see that it's Python 3.6 as specified on the text file. And if I do import pyjokes, that will work because the package pyjokes is installed there. So now I'm going to deactivate that environment and that will take me back to the base environment here. So actually, I'll come back and activate it again. And I'm going to show you how to add packages to an environment if you have need for an extra package. So there are a couple ways to do it. One is you can just do conda install. And here, for example, I'm just going to use this example package six. And it's just going to download and install that package. And that's it. So now if I do Python import six, that also works. So the other way is you can just use a pip install. 
which is the most popular way to install uh, Python packages. As long as you have pip installed in your environment, which we do because it was specified on that text file, then you can use pip install. So instead of pip install, I'm just going to deactivate it again. So now the second way to create a Conda environment is to specify which packages you want in that environment. So I could do Conda create minus n minus n will specify what's the name of that environment and i'm just going to say test env and if i did that it would create essentially an empty environment just with the default packages but i actually want python equals 3.8 and i actually want numpy in that environment so that will create a test environment named test env that will have Python 3.8 and NumPy. So I'm just going to press enter here and that's going to take a couple minutes maybe. Okay, so now I also have a test env. So I'm going to list the environments again and you see that we now, we now have test env. So I can do conda activate test env. And now we are inside test env. And if I do Python, you will see that it's now Python 3.8. And if I do import numpy as np, then it works fine. So now I have a separate environment that is test env that has a different version of Python and that has access to numpy. So numpy only exists inside this environment. It wasn't installed on play env or anything else. Finally, I want to show you what to do if you want to share your environment with someone else. So you can export uh, a YAML file with the specifications of your environment to a file that someone else can use to create the exact same environment. So here, what I'm going to do is I am still with the environment activated. So I'm going to do conda and export minus minus F and the file name. So I'm just going to call it test.yaml. Uh, that didn't work. Okay, so I will actually do minus minus file instead. Okay, so now if I look at test.yaml, you will see that it has uh, the name of the environment I had there, it has which channels it's using, and it has specific libraries and versions of those libraries. And you'll see that it has a lot more than just NumPy because NumPy has a lot of uh, pretty requisites and it also has for example python so as long as this person this other person is uh using the set is in the system that is the same as yours they could just use this file as is and uh, create exactly the same environment so that's it that's a very quick summary of conda environments uh, it's my favorite way of packaging uh python uh environments and, and, and packages inside a structure that is much easier to control than trying to figure out in which folder which package is and stuff like that. So if you if you like this and you are interested in similar videos, make sure to subscribe to the Jackson Laboratory YouTube channel. Uh, and thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention.